You're watching NBC3 News at 5. Well, good evening. Welcome to our Your Town broadcast. We're live along Seneca Lake here in Geneva tonight. What a beautiful night. It is a beautiful evening out here. I'm Megan Coleman along with Matt Mulcahy, and we are enjoying everything special that Geneva has to offer. We've been exploring this community for days now to profile what makes it so unique. Yeah, we're going to take you out on the water today, take you to some of the great restaurants in the area, and also inside this wonderful visitor center that's just opened this year, a real welcoming point for tourists coming to the Finger Lakes. So we will continue our Your Town Geneva Geneva coverage in just a moment. First, we want to head back to the studio for the news of the day. Our Lisa Spitz is manning down the fort for us there tonight. Lisa? All right, Matt and Megan, thanks so much. Let's head back out now to Geneva. That is where Matt and Megan are standing by with our special Your Town series. It looks wonderful out there tonight. Hi, Matt and Megan. Oh, Lisa, we have a great location here tonight. You know, a lot of activity, too. The Muscle Man Triathlon events are here this weekend, including a kids race tonight, a sprint tomorrow, and then the big uh, race to, uh, not on Sunday morning, the Ironman. So uh, there's a lot of activity going on as we speak. Yeah, we've already seen some of the kids riding their bikes uh, right near us, and a lot of people coming here to the brand new Welcome Center that features the Taste New York Cafe. A lot of people coming outside, grabbing a, a beer or a glass of Finger Lakes wine, enjoying the gorgeous view of Seneca Lake we have behind yeah, us. Yeah, in case you're wondering where we are right now, Geneva is located in Ontario County. It's about an hour's drive uh, due west from Syracuse, about 55 miles or so. It sits right at the tip of Seneca Lake, which, by the way, is the deepest of the Finger Lakes. We're going to talk more about that depth when we go to our Carolina Kixano out on the water in a little while. And it's also known for all the vineyards, you know, the Finger Lakes wineries. Yes, of course, we have beautiful wineries out here. Uh, meantime, though, a place that you can come to taste some of those wines, the local beers, and uh, some of the delicious Finger Lakes food. That's right here where we're standing at the Visitor Center, the brand new Welcome Center here in Geneva. It promotes local attractions and regional food and beverage producers. Inside, you'll find that Taste New York Market, which features local products. The Taste New York Center features Cayuga ice cream, Saranac sodas, Three Brothers wine, and so much more. You're able to come in and get a glass of wine or a can of beer and sit out on the, the deck overlooking the lake. Um, they're also going to be having bike racks put in, and there's just so much activity going on here. We just welcome everyone down. Well, the Welcome Center also highlights tourism across the state and everything wonderful that New York has to offer. Yeah, just outside the Welcome Center tomorrow, they have their farmer's market every Saturday with music, entertainment, great food. So check that out, too. Now, Geneva is also home to the well-known Hobart William Smith College just down the road from where we're standing right now. Hobart was founded in 1822, initially as an all-men's school. William Smith was for women. It was founded in 1908. Now, the liberal arts colleges sit on 320 acres here in the Finger Lakes, home to more than 2,200 undergrads, attracting students from all over the U.S. and 35 countries around the world. The Finger Lakes in general, I think, is a terrific draw uh, for our students, but Geneva has really had a nice renaissance over the last couple of years with all the growth in restaurants, the opportunities for our students to do volunteer work, uh, to spend some social time in Geneva is a huge plus for us. And one of the most famous graduates is Elizabeth Blackwell. She graduated from William Smith or Hobart William Smith and then became the first female doctor in the United States. So really a prestigious honor, something that, that this region is very proud of. Yeah, an impressive resume there. And our live coverage from Geneva continues throughout the next 90 minutes. We're going to take you back here live to the Welcome Center. We're going to head out on a boat. And in fact, our Carolina Kixano yes. is there right now. She's going to take you on a tour of the beautiful Seneca Lake, the deepest, you know, of the finger. It really is. It's one of the larger ones for certain, and it is just beautiful tonight. So our Your Town Geneva coverage continues live here in a moment. Welcome back to our special Your Town Geneva series, a beautiful view of Seneca Lake here tonight, live from Geneva. It is a perfect summer's evening. Uh, we're actually kind of mopping our brow a bit oh, here. Yeah. At least I am. You don't you don't perspire, but I, <laughs> I definitely am in this. It's very warm out, but but a great summer's night. Oh my goodness, we can't complain at all. Uh, the temperatures must be what in the 80s or so. The sun is shining down upon us, and it is a beautiful day to be in the community of Geneva. We're profiling what makes this community so special, um, and, and it's really just such a lovely place to be. It really is accentuated by all of this right now. Yeah, it certainly is. So if you are looking for something fun to do, there's a lot of great options. If you're thinking about 
taking your family uh, on a staycation. You know, if you live in the Syracuse or Rochester areas, just want to hop in the car, it's not too far from there. Sitting right on the shore of this majestic Seneca Lake, kids can enjoy the playground or cool off in the spray ground where they can run through more than 100 water jets. That's at the, that's at the state park nice. here. And it features two marinas where you can enjoy kayaking, canoeing, so many other water sports. You can try fishing here, biking, or hiking. There really is something for everyone to enjoy. Well, Carolina Kiksano, she is on a boat right now exploring Seneca Lake. She is, and she was out during the week, too, and she's really learning a lot about the history of the lake going all the way back to the age of the glaciers. Carolina. Matt and Megan, it's a beautiful day out here in Geneva, and what better way to see the most of it than on a boat tour? I took a trip around Seneca Lake and found out there's more to it than just the picture-perfect views. Get ready for an adventure in the deepest of the Finger Lakes. It was a glacial cut. It comes to a very narrow point at the bottom, so they have a hard time uh, determining the very depth of the lake, but they don't know that it's, it's well over 650 to 750 feet deep. Bob Stivers is the marina owner and operator at Stivers Seneca Marine. He's worked right here near the water for more than 40 years. He now runs several different tours across Seneca Lake. It's the love of our life. You know, it's things that we could do here is, is so much fun for people. We like to get them out on the water. We want them to show them the experience, to show them the, the history that's, that's been here. A history of much more than just beautiful views. It's a changing Finger Lakes economy. In the past, we've had the armed services that are here, from the Army to the Navy, the Air Force. We've had the big manufacturing companies that were right on the, on the waterfronts. Now we're turning into a tourist destination. As Bob gets his boat ready to go, the first sight on the tour has more to it than meets the eye. This north end used to be a big uh, industry and manufacturing hub. And what they did is they ran uh, ships and flat barges that came and picked up the, the food and the goods to take them to other parts of the state. Legend has it, many of those barges still lie at the bottom of Seneca Lake. There's only one that I know of, but you know, through the history and hearing stories, they say that there's many and it's so deep we won't know. Next up, a newly installed attraction. It's a welcome center right here in the water and people now come from all over the state to come here to find out what we have to do here. Bob says that's brought in tourists from all over the state, finally giving Geneva and New York the attention it deserves. Geneva has always been known as the, the gateway to the Finger Lakes. We think we've changed that a little bit. And now we're the, uh, the destination in the Finger Lakes. A tourist destination of its own, Bellhurst Castle. The original castle is on the south side. And then the, the addition here has been put here on the, this side for additional rooms, a winery. They've got a great fine dining facility. There's things to do by water. There's things, places to eat by land. There's, there's things to do on land. It's, it's a beautiful community. Bob says the Seneca Lake region can be fun for the whole family. If you haven't been here, you got to come try it. Now, Bob tells us he has tours running from Thursday through Sunday. You can also rent out water skis, kayaks, boats. To top it all off, you can end your day at his tiki bar right on the marina. Reporting in Seneca Lake, I'm Carolina Kixano. Well, we're looking for Carolina out in the lake now. I think I think she's coming. <laughs> there she is. I think she's coming down <laughs> down Lake uh, right now. What I if, think she's got the best assignment oh, today. She does. It's yeah. a little bit cooler on the water. Just perfect to be out there tonight. You know, coming up, we're going to take you down the road just a little bit to some of the great historic mansions uh, where you can stop and you could spend the night, have a nice meal. We're going to take you to Geneva on the lake. Yeah, it's a beauty. Also, if you've never been to the Linden Street area, it's a place you won't want to miss. They have seen incredible revitalization over the last few years. We're going to explore what they're doing there when our your town geneva coverage continues right after this well, welcome back live to your town geneva here on the northern end of seneca lake we've moved down just a few steps so about 20 or so onto the dock here in front of the visitor center you know it's it's nice enough that uh, boats can actually come right up here and just drop people off uh, they got that ability now that they've done this major renovation to this whole waterfront area yeah it is a beautiful spot to come to we're just outside the brand new welcome center here in geneva right in the heart of town overlooking this majestic seneca lake a great place to come out and enjoy some kayaking canoeing boating uh, really 
really anything that you want to do with your family, a fantastic place to come on a beautiful day like this. Yeah, it is beautiful. And Wayne's back uh, at the station right now. Wayne, we wish you could have been with us today, <laughs> but um, you have given us just the perfect, truly the visitor center slash chamber of commerce type of weather <laughs> oh, tonight. Oh, boy. Well, it lo looks fantastic right there. And now let's go back to Matt and Megan on Lakeside there in Geneva. Seneca Lake right behind you. Like I said, I'm jealous. That is great scene right there. Wish I was there. <laughs> Aww. Oh, we miss you, you Wayne. Wayne. Yeah, it's a perfect night to be here. Yeah, we, we tip our hats to you for this forecast. It's yeah, wonderful. it's great. You know, one of the most iconic properties here in the Finger Lakes is Geneva on the Lake. It is beautiful, just about five minutes from here. It's one of those spots that you drive past and, you know, it, you just want to step inside. The resort sits on 10 acres featuring a formal gardens along with a 70-foot pool and a boathouse. The boutique hotel features 29 luxurious rooms with stickly furniture from Fayetteville. They include breathtaking views of this incredible Seneca Lake. Yeah, one of the great treasures in the community. Also, a more recent development is the Linden Street area just off Main Street. Again, just a short way from where we are right now is a cobblestone street. It's one way they're able to close those streets down to have a good time. Uh, Linden Street has really become a go-to place here in the downtown district of Geneva, filled with wine and cocktail bars and some pretty unique restaurants, too. Really the place to be for a good time in Geneva. If you're stopping into town, you come to the visitor center, you find out what's going on in the area, then you head over to Linden Street for a quick bite and a drink. So, yeah, nice it, way to spend the week. It is a perfect place to come check out on your summer vacation. We have a lot more to come live from Geneva tonight, and we're going to do some sampling because yes. that's what we always do, Matt, when we hit the road. Yeah, the Finger Lakes is known for so many different uh, delicious foods and drinks. We'll taste some of those when we come back live as our Your Time broadcast continues from Geneva. You're watching NBC3 News at 530. Welcome back to our Your Town broadcast live here in Geneva tonight, right on the north shore of Seneca Lake. A perfect night, a lot of activity out here. People walking on this brand new uh, waterfront property here. People getting ready for the Muscle Man Triathlons this weekend too. Yeah, and right here, right next to us, the beautiful I Love New York sign, encouraging people to come out to the Finger Lakes and enjoy everything special that it has to offer. It's really become the spot for selfies here in Geneva. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people taking them, especially if they're here visiting town with the I Love New York sign. Yeah, so let's give you a sense as to where we're located if you're not familiar with Geneva. It's in Ontario County. It's about 55 miles southwest of Syracuse. And, you know, it sort of felt like while we were driving out here, we got here in a flash. Uh, it was a beautiful drive out. We were sitting at the top of Seneca Lake, the deepest of the Finger Lakes, an area really known for its vineyards. And people are really uh, enjoying living in Geneva, especially this time of year with all this great weather. We went out and talked to some of them about what they love about their own community. There's a lot of great restaurants, wineries, breweries, shopping, uh, waterfalls. It's just a magnificent area that hasn't been discovered and is finally being discovered. It's very close-knit. There's an insane amount of food and local beverage. It's very local-oriented, so all the food is usually local sourced if you go to good places. Um, lots of craft beer, lots of wine. I think what's special about this is uh, family. You know, it's a great place to raise a family. It's a great place that I was raised. I lived away and came back. It's nice um, to hear. A lot of reasons to love living in Geneva. Now, one of the most unique properties here in Geneva is a mansion that dates back to the 19th century. Yeah, the Rose Hill Mansion Estate. It sits just above Seneca Lake, a great place to visit. It's filled with history, dates back to the days of slavery, the Civil War. It's now open to tourists. One of its owners were Robert and Jane Rose, who left their tobacco farming rooms in Virginia to come up to the Finger Lakes. They brought 75 slaves with them who worked for the family growing wheat and raising sheep. And many of the slaves, not all of them, uh, became the, um, the basis for the African-American community here in Geneva. And there are some families that can still trace their roots to Rose Hill. The Rose Hill Mansion has about 4,000 visitors a year. They give tours Tuesday through Sunday, so stop it. And another Central New York gem, Bellhurst Castle, which is on the State Historical Registry. A beautiful place that you can stay out here. It sits on the shores of Seneca Lake and is one of the most iconic properties in the Finger Lakes. Much of the original woodwork is preserved over the years. Bellhurst was originally built back in 1885 as a private home. Later, Cornelius Red Dwyer took it over during the era of Prohibition.
He was much more of a colorful character. Um, he operated Bellhurst as a speakeasy and casino. Um, so the original uh, place where he had a speakeasy and casino, they used to gamble upstairs, and then they'd have liquor imported um, through the canal system. Pretty incredible history Pretty crafty there. there yeah. yeah. Well, there has been a spooky story or two over the years with some guests saying they've seen ghosts. Others saying they've seen cigar smoke coming from what was the speakeasy. Yeah, really a memorable spot to visit if you're looking for a special dinner on a really nice occasion. Now, another historic building to visit while you're here is the Smith Opera House. Our Kayla Ke Carolina Kixano takes us inside for a tour of this arts center. When you walk into the Smith Opera House, it's unlike anything you've ever experienced. Chris Woodworth is a professor of theater and board member for the Smith Opera House. She says there's no place in Geneva like it. I get goosebumps when I talk about the history of this theater uh, because this is Geneva's community center. Chris says the Opera House was established and primarily funded by William Smith in 1894. What we see today, though, is a Moorish design by another visionary that opened 37 years later. The interior of this theater was designed in the late 1920s by a man by the name of Victor Rigamont. Chris says it's now what's called an atmospheric theater. When you come in here, you have the experience of being outside while you're inside. So as the lights dim, it's like you're watching a sunset here in this space. With stars twinkling in the ceiling, Chris describes this as a magical courtyard feeling. In the late 1970s, the building was almost torn down to build a parking lot. But Chris says the residents of Geneva helped save it. Citizens of Geneva helped pay for this. And it's the citizens of Geneva that have saved this theater time and time again over the years. They had the theater restored to Rigamont's original design in the 90s with help from the community. She says in the almost 124 years this theater has been open, they've hosted a wide range of events here, including live music, dance, theater, film, community events, and even weddings. Every event is made special in this space because this space has been designed and cared for uh, meticulously over the years. The Opera House can seat up to 1,400 people. And when we have sold out concerts, you feel the energy ricocheting off the walls. It's a venue Chris fell in love with when she was just five years old. And she encourages everyone who visits the Finger Lakes region to stop by. It's one of the most uh, beautiful theaters I've ever set foot in. And I'm a theater professor. I go to the theater all the time. In Geneva, I'm Carolina Kixano. Oh, what a beautiful place. So nice. It did not hit the wrecking ball. I just know that guy who's running by, actually. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> he's a terrific runner. He's probably in town for the, the triathlon. But, okay. yes, uh, the Smith Opera House, a great place to visit. You know, another great place to visit is this visitor center. And right now there's a nice group of people that are just sitting, and they're in the shade. They're smarter than us, actually. <laughs> in the shade, enjoying a cold beer, a glass of wine, a cup of coffee, maybe a bite to eat. Yeah, I hope it's a nice coffee on a day yeah, like today. Yeah, all New York products. Uh, so, And then Team Coil. Everybody seems to have Team Coil shirts tonight. Go Team Coil! Yeah, go! Yeah, right. they're, they're number one. That's, <laughs> that's the triathlon crowd in town for the Muscle Man this weekend. So this is a busy place tonight. So I'm thinking, Matt, coming up in just a few minutes, we're going to go talk to some of the folks up there. Maybe we'll sit down, get a little shade, and maybe experience some of these beautiful Finger Lakes products. Good idea. Okay. First, we want to find out the latest about the weather, don't we? That's that's right. Let's yeah. do it. Let's see, Wayne, if we're going to get any kind of cool yeah. down. But we're not gonna, going to complain. It's a beautiful sunny day out here today. Oh, no, it is a terrific, especially where you are right there in Geneva. Let's head back outside right now to Matt and Megan. They are in beautiful Geneva tonight for their special Your Town series. What a gorgeous evening out there. Oh, it's picture perfect. Yeah, it is really. perfect. It's yeah. also a busy place. And, and coming up, uh, we're going to talk to some people who know all about Finger Lakes products. Look at these delicious items here. I think we should just get on in there and do some sampling. Yeah, what do you think? There's, we have a there's beautiful pies, pie there's here. drinks, there's beer. Um, we're going to get to all of this, but first we're going to have a little sample and take a break as our Your Too Town coverage continues. Too delicious. Live from Geneva <laughs> in a moment. Mm, that's good. So good. Yeah, really good. Welcome back to our Your Town broadcast live here in Geneva tonight. Uh, it's just a
perfect evening. I don't mean to sound redundant, but, but it, really it is, is the perfect <laughs> evening. You know, we're here at the visitor center right across from Seneca Lake here. I mean, we're, we could we could jump in and we might do it by the end of the show. <laughs> um, but look what you can get inside here, Megan. I um, love these. The I, I love, love Finger Lakes, or FLX. FLX, and you got all 11 Finger Lakes in there, even even on a dog a lake in Syracuse gets credit on this t-shirt. So these are really cool. You can buy them inside when you stop by. Yeah, and it's a beautiful night out here uh, at the Welcome Center to enjoy it. Hi, everybody. Uh, hey. Yeah, they're they, having a great time here tonight. They're all wisely. They've been in the shade while yes. we've been out in the bright That's sunshine. Right. And smart. I am getting ready to, um, you know, crack one of these beers open because a lot of the people <laughs> behind me have been enjoying this. Woo, it's oh, starting to fizz. Easy. This is We Be Brewing Company. Yes. Uh, one of the local breweries out here. And we're going to be sampling some of this food guys, way coming back up there. in just a couple of minutes. That's there. right. Yeah. So cheers yeah, so to the Finger Lakes. On. Yeah, so a lot going on here tonight. Yeah, and so if you're looking for, you know, great places to eat or drink, I mean, gosh, there is just such a plethora of places that you can visit here in the Finger Lakes and in Geneva specifically. Uh, on the quaint little Linden Street, which we talked yeah. about the revitalization of it just a short time ago, uh, there's a great restaurant, uh, FLX Freiburg, the new late night spot where people can go and enjoy fried chicken. And who doesn't love fried oh, chicken, no, right? This restaurant showcases really fun chicken sandwiches that feature waffles. The FLX Freibird opened its store ba doors back in May, where the restaurant owners Christopher Bates and Isabel Bogatti wanted a new feel to Linden Street. The restaurant brings a different twist to other businesses in the Geneva area. Employees say it's the perfect stop after a wine, after a wine tour or perhaps when you're just out enjoying the downtown scene. We haven't really seen a dull day. I mean, everybody's a lot of regulars, a lot of new faces. We're kind of waiting for the students to come back in August. And the general manager says they're a close-knit family, which makes it very easy to, for her to come to work every day. In addition to all the fried chicken, Flybird introduces spiked slushies or cocktails, a good way to cool you down on the hottest of summer days. Or you can just enjoy one of the beautiful beverages from the Finger Lakes. There's a lot of ways to do that. Now, when you step inside FLX Table, it looks like your typical restaurant, but it's really not. It's a place to dine with family and friends. It gives an intimate feel to your dinner party. We sent our Tara Gibbons inside to talk to the owners of the business. Every time we're, we're not in one of the restaurants, we're typically at home entertaining. You can experience everything around hospitality. It's a local restaurant with an intimate feel, featuring local fresh farm to table food. FLX Table is the brainchild of husband and wife team Christopher Bates and Isabel Bugatti. Our dining room is essentially a dinner party, and it's a dinner party with where you may or may not know the people that you're sitting with. You may or may not know what the meal is going to be. You get to interact with the staff. You get to see the kitchen. You get to know that everything that we're making, we're making ourselves. And it's, you know, handcrafted right here in the restaurant. It opened up in 2016 with the goal of making you feel like inside your family or friend's home. The restaurant features one communal table that seats 12 people, 14 if they stretch it, with chefs preparing a five-course menu based on what's in season and local. When it all comes together, basically you spend time eating, drinking, talking, laughing with, with friends, with new friends. And at the end, it builds a sense of community, and that's really what we're looking for. Menu changes nightly with seatings at 6 and 8.30 p.m. I even had a chance to try one of their delectable desserts. It's very important to us that it feels more like, more like that and not like a business. Doesn't it look delicious? Yeah, there's a lot of great options. And I'm here. ready to go there. You know, it's like a little private dinner party. It is. How it's fun. real. It's really Intimate. a great way to enjoy food, friends, family, all of that. And we have a little toast here. That's uh, right. Cheers to yeah, Geneva. Yes. Uh, all the local is is the way we want to go here. And by the way, we want to take a look out in the water. That's the boat right now. You see, that's our own Carolina Kixano and our photographer Nate out there. Uh, they probably can't hear us. No, now, they can't. Can. There they but go. They, well, we're waving to them. They even. are sailing off into the sunset. Yeah, great night to be out <laughs> on a boat and you're starting to see that activity pick up as it gets just a little bit later in the day. People are going to be enjoying boating on Seneca Lake. And you can start to hear some of the music here in the background. Families are playing on the play playground. It's a wonderful place to come uh, and enjoy a nice summer weekend. Yeah, sounds great. We'll have more coverage coming up live from our Your Town broadcast here in Geneva as we continue tonight. Cheers. Well, welcome back to our live Your Town coverage from Geneva tonight. Uh, well, we just decided to take a seat with some of our friends. Hi, everybody. Hi. The mayor, mayor of Geneva's back here. Yeah, and oh. all the friends and everybody. And, and we got some 
We got some music playing. What great foresight by the hotel to build down there and then to let the waterfront come from there, right? Yeah. I mean, that's a good idea, Wonderful. huh? Yeah. So just a really Working out well, and they got music playing. And a beautiful night to be out here tonight. Uh, kudos to Wayne for this fabulous forecast that he planned for us here on this Friday afternoon. Yeah, Wayne, uh, again, we wish you were here, yeah. but um, we're enjoying being here ourselves, I got to say. Yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you. I mean, it's, it's real nice here on the weather deck. It's real nice for most of us in central New York. But if you happen to be there in Geneva, Seneca Lake, right now, you got not only the nice weather, you got the music playing, and you got, uh, you know, food and beverages and all that. I mean, that's real, real nice. That's another step up, right? And that's the latest from the weather outside. But Bat, back right now to Matt and Megan in Geneva. Yeah. I am armed with a fork. Yes, we're ready. We're ready for the tasting. This is our favorite part of the segment yes, here. Thank yes. you, Wayne. Uh, Valerie Novlock is with the Tourism Bureau uh, here in the Finger Lakes. Thank you so much for being here. What a gorgeous night. My pleasure. What a better place to be than right here in Geneva on Seneca Lake. It's right. fantastic. <laughs> Valerie, what do we have yeah, here? Let's get let's, to let's, it. We'll start so over here. We'll go right down. We'll start with dessert. We have grape pie. Start uh, with dessert. Okay, Meg, we're starting with dessert. All right. Naples is a great pie capital of the world. 70,000 pies come out of Naples every year. Great pie and taste up. You'll see why everybody yeah, flocks this is, there to enjoy. Mm -hmm. and you can buy them in the visitor center and other areas. This is Monica's pie. And you wouldn't think great, but gosh, this is just delicious. Yeah. It is Monica. She's been featured on Food Network, and she's really legit and love yeah. the butter and the crust. Oh, it's delicious. fantastic. And now, this juice, I have to yeah, tell you, this my is great. children love this. This red jacket. I didn't realize this is local. Red jacket's right up the street here on Route 5 and 20. But you can find their juices all over the world, literally, and in the markets in New York City. Healthy, mm. fun, grown locally. Gosh, that's Let's fresh. jump out we, while we're still eating. We've had our dessert, but this is a great looking pizza here. We're, uh, for, this is from Kindred Fair, a new uh, restaurant up the street. Yeah, go for it. It's a okay. meatball pie that a they have here. The, the important thing here is the fresh local ingredients, everything made and grown locally. Mm. They put it all together, and the farm to table aspect is alive and well. And Kindred Fair is just one example of all the great restaurants as you featured in the Geneva area. And a lot of great other, I mean, we know a lot about wine. We're going to so get bad. to that last, yeah. I think. But what else do we have? We talked about the Weeby Beer. Yep, you have the Weeby Brewing, and there's many, many breweries popping up. This is the newest one in Ontario County in the Finger Lakes, and they just won a bronze medal for the wow. TAP Award program. So you can visit these nice little places and meet the owners lots of times. It's so much fun. And cider really has become a big thing. You know, it's not just wine or beer, but the cider has become huge. Cider has grown a lot, and apples grown right up the street and all sure. in the area, so why not turn them into something like cider? And we have here Lake Drum Brewing, Rosé Cider. Hmm. All kinds of cider. They're right up the street in uh, the know. Geneva our photographer Matt Landers, uh, when mm. he's off the clock, he likes a, that's the one thing he likes is a cider once in a while. It's so, so good. You're making me try it, right, too. Yeah, cheers, cheers to that. Cheers to Appreciate Geneva. that, Valerie. And, 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 of course, us. we can't talk about the Finger Lakes without, especially a Riesling. That's the perfect choice, right? Yes. That's kind of the hallmark of the Finger Lakes. Riesling is a no, notor, notor, notorious grape in the yeah. Finger Lakes and many, many wineries, as you know. We chose to show them to make sure people know we have... The Rieslings, the Rosés, and yeah, the, the red beautiful. wines as well. And just beautiful. So we do, we're not tasting those tonight, but trust me, you can get a lot of wine tasting yes. in the Finger Lakes. And yeah. you know what? Coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to take you to Fox Run Vineyards, this beautiful uh, white here, and I'm going to do some of that wine tasting. I learned the art of it yes. uh, how to earlier. Hold, starting yeah. with how to hold the glass. That's right. Yeah. So we're going to so. talk about that coming up new at 6 o'clock tonight. Valerie, thanks so much for being a great host. Delicious. Thank we you. appreciate all of it. Uh, coming up, we continue our broadcast live from your town, Geneva, right here on the shores of Seneca Lake. You're watching NBC3 News at 6. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to our special Your Town broadcast live from Geneva tonight on a picture-perfect evening. The sun shining down upon us. We are standing right next to Seneca Lake and just a beautiful evening tonight. Yeah, we couldn't really be in a more exciting place. There's the Muscle Man Triathlon in town. There's people gathered around the visitor center enjoying a glass of wine or a Finger Lakes uh, home brew. Just a perfect evening to be outside, taking a stroll, riding a bike. Lots of families here. It's a nice night. It is a beautiful night out here. A lot of people are walking by, enjoying their time here. So let's give you a sense of where we're located because we're really not too far from Syracuse. No, not at all. Really just about an hour's drive to the west. Uh, you get on the throughway from Syracuse, you get off the exit five minutes later, you're right where we're standing right now. Of course, Geneva sits right at the top of Seneca Lake, the deepest of the Finger Lakes, an area known for its vineyards. Yeah, the Finger Lakes are well known for its wine. And if you've ever been on Linden Street and loved sipping a glass of wine out here, stop into FLX Provisions, a tasting room with the Finger Lakes wines to 
taste from. Shelves are stocked with wines, beers from all over. If you're walking on the streets of Geneva, you'll be able to come in and taste everything by the glass. In addition to these offerings, the beverages just in the store, employees will allow wine and beer to be purchased for people to enjoy them during your meal at FLX Flybird next door. Really well. It has great reception. You can have a craft beer with a fried chicken sandwich. We make everything accessible, and that's what that's our mission. We try to make good wine, good beer accessible to anybody. Well, you know, the breweries are also part of uh, the Geneva culture, too. In fact, Twisted Rail Brewing Company was founded back in 2013 as one of the first craft breweries in all of New York State. Since then, of course, that industry's really exploded. And we're going to have much more on the Twisted Rail Brewing Company coming up in just a minute. You're going to hear from some of the owners on how this area is not known just for wine, but also for beer. There's a lot more to get to live from our Your Town coverage from Geneva tonight. We're going to send it back to the studio to our Lisa Spitz with more news of the day. Lisa? All right, Matt and Megan, thanks so much. Let's switch gears right now and head back out on this beautiful Friday night to Matt and Megan who are in Geneva. What a great assignment tonight. Oh, yeah. perfect. We are enjoying it. Yes. In fact, we can hear the music from the party coming up from just down the walkway here. It's a great night to be outside. You know, a great night to be sipping a nice uh, craft beer, yes. too. You know, going back to 2013, that's when Twisted Rail Brewery started uh, becoming a craft brewery right here in Geneva. It was one of the first in the state. And now that industry's really exploded. Playing around at home, you know, like probably... 95% of all the breweries that are around now, everybody started the way I did. What a lot of the breweries have done is they've separated their brew area from their tasting area with a wall or maybe a wall with a window. We're actually going to let the people experience the whole brew process. So we're going to have multiple tiers of, of seating that lead right out into the brewing area so they can go ahead and see the actual brewing process as it works. We uh, use New York State products in our beverages. So we have craft malt, craft hops. Uh, all grown here locally. We grow some of our own hops for some of our beers, and uh, we try to keep the ingredients as fresh and uh, up-to-date as possible local. Oh, and they have so many delicious uh, offerings. Yeah, I, I just got their speedboat going out on the water now. Uh, the sound's picking up. You know, the brewing company plans to renovate, including a new brew house restaurant, tasting room, education center for local events. In addition to Geneva, Twisted Rail has locations in both Canandaigua and also Macedon. Yeah, that's right. And it is one of the highlights, really, of the Finger Lakes, an industry that's creating jobs, boosting the local economy, and giving us all a reason to say cheers to Central New York. I recently got a chance to perfect my wine tasting skills, sitting down with Fox Run Vineyards president and co-owner Scott Osborne over a few bottles of wine, learning why the area is just ripe for perfecting the grapes that will become bottles of Finger Lakes wine. And then once you smelled it and smelled all the neat little smells that are in it, then you can um, you taste it. Mmm, that is too good. Oh, I love this wine. Oh, it's and wonderful. It, and it just goes down so smoothly. And you notice it's got a nice little long finish there. Mm -hmm. you know, wine brings people together, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, strangers. You know, in, when you go into another country and you, you're having trouble talking, if you just sit down with wine, you all of a sudden things start to come out and you start becoming friends. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a fascinating industry to be involved in. Mm -hmm. When Osborne first took over Fox Run in 1994, he had 7,500 visitors come through. Last year, that number soared to 56,000. Yeah, one of the most popular things to do, certainly in the summertime, in the Finger Lakes, stop at a winery and do some tasting. Great way to do it. Yeah, there is still so much to come from our special broadcast, Your Town Geneva, tonight. Our Carolina Quixano is on a boat on Seneca Lake tonight, getting a tour of one of the most beautiful spots in Central New York. Yeah, we'll hear from her in a little bit, but first, we want to get the forecast from Chief Meteorologist Wayne Mahar. The weekend is officially under way, Wayne. It sure is, and uh, boy, oh boy, what a great assignment out there tonight, and uh, it's going to be a pretty good weekend all in all, no matter where you are, but especially around Geneva, right, uh, in the Finger Lakes. So I'll be back with a full weekend forecast in a few minutes. Well, I'm just enjoying more of that pie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and enjoying the, the scenery, the food, the drink, a great place to be, Geneva. Our Your Town Live broadcast continues in just a moment. coverage on a beautiful night here tonight. Matt and I are right outside the Welcome Center here in Geneva overlooking Seneca Lake. And look what's behind us. 
I love New York. And who doesn't on a day like this, today? This has really been the hot spot throughout the night here tonight. People, yeah, people are taking selfies. Some people are walking by, don't even notice it, and they're like, oh, look at that. It's I beautiful. love New York. Let's take a picture. Um, and it's right on the, really, a, just a pristine Finger Lakes setting here. So a, a gorgeous night, Wayne. Uh, um, what's going on for the rest of the weekend? Going to get a little bit hotter still, isn't it? Well, I think it will. We're going to up the humidity a little bit, especially for tomorrow. All right, Nico, thanks so much. Let's head back out to Geneva tonight, where Matt and Megan are enjoying a beautiful evening. Now, and finally, some clouds are starting to move in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're getting a little bit of relief from the sunshine. And uh, the Ramada Lakefront Hotel's got their 5 o'clock Live at 5 party going on every Friday night during the summertime. We can hear the band playing perfectly from where we are right now. Oh, fun, yeah. Plus, we have a toast here, too. So That's cheers right. to Lake the Lake Drum Brewing. So uh, we're going to enjoy their cider here tonight. I love your I Love FLX. Shirt I too. love FLX so, for the yes. Finger Lakes. You can get those right here at the Visitor Center. So a lot of fun here tonight. Great stories to tell. Perfect weather conditions. And it's just the start of our Your Town Summer. That's right. Next Friday, we're going to be in the Thousand Islands. So we will see you there with stories all week long about that wonderful community as well. So cheers from the Finger Lakes. We'll see you in the Thousand Islands next weekend tonight on NBC3 News at 11. Good night.